What are you at, ladies and gentlemen, Light Coast here, and today I'm going to tell you about the two best room farm locations in Elden Ring, and I'm going to tell you how to get there. Now, for those of you who already know how to get to Mogwin Palace, the spot where you're going to be farming is right here at Palace Approach. And the two different farms are number one, you need a bow, and you can just shoot this bird creature that's down over the cliff here, and then you need to run to the right, and he'll follow you and just jump right off the cliff. Make sure that you run to the right because I find if you just shoot him and stand there, he'll just run up to the edge of the cliff and he won't actually jump off. The second method is to kill this large group of enemies that's right next to the site of Grace. This is much more effective with a powerful weapon that can do a large AoE attack. I don't currently have a weapon like that on this character, so I'm doing the bow method. So those are the two methods. Let's move on to how you actually get to Mogwin Palace. So the first thing you're going to need to do is come to the Rose Church. You're going to talk to this guy that's right out in front, it's the guy from the beginning of the game, and he's going to give you five fingers, and you're going to need to use those to invade other people. If you hate the thought of doing PvP, don't worry, you don't need to win these fights, all you need to do is invade five people, so if you want, you can just invade, let them kill you, and move on to the next one. You're not going to find too many fair fights when you're invading in this game, usually it's going to be three against one, or at least two against one, so like I said, don't worry about it, just invade, don't worry about it, have fun with it and then move on. Now after you've done your five invasions, you just go back to the same guy at the same location, and then he's gonna get you to go to, and he's gonna tell you that you need to get the blood of a maiden. All you need to do for this is just go to the four belfries, which is located right here. Up at the top of the hill, you're gonna find a key, and then you just go back down to the portal that's just below it, use the key, and then that portal is gonna bring you back to the tutorial area. Once you get there, you will have a very easy boss fight, and then you just head back to the very beginning where you spawned in for the first time, and there will be a dead maiden there on the floor. So then you're gonna get the blood from her, and then you're just gonna pop back to the church. So then you're gonna to talk to him, he's gonna cut your finger off, then you talk to him again, and he's going to give you the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. So, right after you get the medal, just use it, and, it'll, and it will automatically teleport you to Mogwin Palace. And you can follow the exact path that I'm going to show you here. Alright guys, now we're at the location. The bow method is very easy. Anybody can use the bow method. Even if your character is weak and low level, you can still use the bow method to get tons and tons of runes here. And if you have a higher level character with a really powerful AoE, feel free to get the tons of runes that you can get from the large group that's right next to the side of Grace. Thank you all for watching. Hope you got some useful information from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you too. Later everyone.